You see this? This redness? This is my... You see this redness? This is my anxiety. This is why I don't wear tank tops when I film videos. Now you see who I really am. Hey, what's up? It's Maddie. Happy Monday. And today's video is created for anyone that is feeling lost or looking for purpose. Now, I personally believe that we each have our own individual purpose, but collectively we are here to love. There is a quote from Judith Lassiter that says, belief is the preconception of how things should be, and faith is the ability to perceive things as they are. And I think that that's an absolutely beautiful quote and a beautiful practice to bring into our lives. Instead of bringing in these judgments and expectations on ourselves, to bring in the practice of allowing ourselves to have faith and allow life to unfold in front of us. Now, I want to start this video by introducing you to my friend, Jim. So about five years ago, somebody put Jim on my doorstep anonymously, and I he was about this tall at the time, and I had never even cared for a plant before, and I thought, oh, okay, I will put Jim inside, and I didn't really have any expectations for Jim, but here he was, my first plant, now I have 32. And I've actually learned a lot just owning a plant. One, being of service. I have to water this plant every single day. Uh, well, not every day, don't water your plants every day, but I water him once or twice a week and I give him plant food and I do talk to my plants because it makes the plant grow. And in exchange, Jim gives me oxygen and leaves on Jim make me happy, especially in the winter when we're missing green. And I feel a sense of accomplishment that I have kept a plant alive for over five years. Now, what are my expectations of Jim? All I want Jim to do is to be a plant and to be a tree, and I don't care um, how tall the tree gets, and Jim does not have to look or be like any of my other plants. My only expectation is for Jim to be Jim, and Jim's only purpose is to be a plant. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Why do you talk to your plants? Don't worry about it. You're the one watching my videos. So the reason why I wanted to share that with you is because Jim is a representation of unconditional love and also a, and also a representation of being of service. Some anonymous stranger that I would still love to know who they were left that plant for me as an act of love. And I've learned so much from caring and nurturing for a plant that in itself is an act of love. And Jim, just being the plant that he is, the beautiful jungle plant, is his purpose. He's serving his purpose in the world. It's a great reminder of letting go of our expectations and the beliefs that we put on ourselves and allowing us to surrender to where we really are. So I wanted to remind you of this if you are going through the same struggle of feeling like you have to have this magnificent purpose or you have to be something bigger than you are. What you are is enough. Jim being a tree is enough. That person that just did that random act of kindness of leaving a plant on my staircase helped me so much in my life without any expectations, without any judgments of who it was. It just literally, they left me a plan. I loved it. It was an act of service. There is a quote from Gandhi that says, when you lose yourself in the act of service, you find your purpose. And I honestly think that the purpose that we forget is that we are here for each other, to support and love each other, to watch each other grow, and not to compete or be the best or have the most but just simply to be a part of a community. And when we remember that, it helps us come back to center and to come back to a place of contentment. You never know the profound effect that you might have in this world. Even just the act of being kind to a stranger, smiling at someone in the street, it can make a huge difference. Like I said earlier in the video, I believe that, we were, that our universal reason for being here is just love, to discover and be loved and to give love to other people. And so if you try to align yourself with the act of loving and loving unconditionally, it can bring you back to center and it can help create a purpose and it can help you from feeling lost. Remember, wherever you are is exactly where you're meant to be. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a little comment. And if you have any questions, send me a message. You can find me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move. That's M-A-D-I Likes to Move. And otherwise, I hope you have a super beautiful week. See you later.